Architecture, Art, and Oral Traditions of the Inca. First, let's talk about Incan architecture. The heart of the Incan Empire was the city of Cusco. It was founded in 1200 CE, but didn't have many residential buildings until King Pachacuti transformed it into a true capital city. He remade it in stone and laid it out so that the city looked like a puma from above. The Incas were very good at shaping stones. For example, they carved a stone block with 12 edges to fit a palace in Cusco. The Inca also had a special way of shaping stone blocks so that they would fit together without mortar. This method was so precise and detailed that while Spanish buildings fell in earthquakes, Inca architecture is still standing today. The Inca also had special color-coded stones in the city of Cusco. The main temple of Coricancha was made of blue andesite and gold leaf. Saxe Huaman, which means huge fortress, was made out of limestone and had blue-green stones inlaid in the floor. The main palace was made of green diorite, while a palace outside of Cusco was made of rose-colored rhyolite. The famous city of Machu Picchu is made of granite and white limestone, making it bright and shining. The most important building in Cusco was Coricancha, the Temple of the Sun. As the name suggests, it was dedicated to Inti, the Inca sun god. As mentioned before, Cusco was laid out in the design of a puma, and this magnificent temple on a hill represented the heart. Cori Cancha had a central plaza and four temples surrounding it. Each represented a different god. One was for Inti, the sun god. One was for Casca, the star god. One for Kila, the moon god. And one for Ilapa, the god of thunder and rainbows. This style of a central plaza with four buildings placed symmetrically around it was very common in the Inca Empire. Cori Cancha was built to withstand earthquakes with trapezoidal inner walls, but was also beautiful with its blue stone and gold-covered walls. However, when the Spanish conquistadors came, the temple was looted and then converted into a church. This is a picture of the modern-day Cori Cancha. Sadly, the Spanish destroyed many Incan artistic traditions as well. The only art forms that the Spanish allowed the Inca to continue practicing were pottery, metalwork, weaving, and making painted wooden cups. Instead of weaving patterns with discs that represented Inti, the Inca would have to use European floral and plant designs. Their woodworking skills were put to use building churches, and metal workers became silversmiths. The Incan tradition of making painted wooden cups was allowed to proceed as before, except that they painted scenes of Europeans and Incans living together. Not much is known about the oral traditions of the Inca. However, it is known that they spoke languages in the Quechua language group. These languages were originally spoken by a small number of people, but were spread to more groups as the Inca conquered new lands. The Inca language is still spoken today, but is being slowly replaced by the official Peruvian language of Spanish. Thank you for watching my video. These are the sources that I used while researching.